Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Creative State of Mind with Casey. I'm Casey. If you're new here, I create simple, easy, budget-friendly DIYs. If that's something that you also like and enjoy, please go like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this. Also, hit that bell, that subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how I created these two beautiful Easter-inspired home decor pieces. For these two projects, I used both Dollar Tree and Michael's items. I am very excited to show everyone how I created these beautiful Easter DIYs. Okay, no more waiting. Let's get started. For my first project, I will be showing you how I created this adorable Easter Bunny Tatarium. To start this project, you will need four five by seven picture frames from the Dollar Tree, and they were just a dollar, so very budget friendly. So of course, you are going to take off all the plastic off of your frame and then take everything out of your frame, including the glass. Everything needs to come out, everything. But don't please don't throw anything away because you will need it later for this project. Now for these projects in this video, I'll be using Craft Smart Paint. Now I bought this set from Michaels earlier this week because they were having a sale on some of their paint brands and it was buy one get one half off and Craft Smart was one of those brands on sale. So the whole set was only $2.99 and I brought two sets so the other set was half off. So for me that was a great deal. Now, out of this set, I'm going to be using the color Pale Blue for my Easter Bunny Tatarium. Excuse my iPad. <laughs> Excuse my iPad in the back. Um, it was connected to my camera. I was trying to make sure y'all could get a good view of what I was doing at the time. So, yeah, just ignore it. <laughs> so, I just applied the paint all over my frame. And I ended up doing about three coats to just, just to get a good, you know, coating on my, um, on my frames. For each frame. Now I'm going to be using a hair dryer on a low temp just to kind of speed up the paint drying process. So um, after I applied all three coats of paint and let it dry completely, this is how your frames will look. So remember in the beginning when I told you to take everything out of your frames. Now I did mean that, but for some reason beyond my knowledge, I forgot to take out the little tabs that hold everything in the picture in the frame. So yeah, it's very important that you also take these out because once you put your frames together, you can't see them through the glass. So um, just go ahead and take them out. All you have to do is just like wiggle them and they'll come right out. For some reason today, I couldn't find my wire cutters and they also work great with taking these out. But again, you can also use your hand. All you have to do is just wiggle them a little bit and they come right out. So once you have all your little tabs out and 
and everything it will um add glue on the inside so around the inside of the frame so that when you put your glass back in it will be secure So once your glass is secure in your frame, you're going to start lightly disgracing your frame with some sandpaper. Now you can do this before you glue it, um, before you glue your glass back into your frame to avoid making a mess like I should have did. But for some reason this day I didn't. Again, I don't think I was thinking this day. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> so like I said, it doesn't matter if you disgrace before or after you glue your frame back in. It's up to you. So after you're done lightly distressing your frames and you have that old distress look that you want, it's time for you to put your frames together to make your tutorial. Now all you want to do is create a box with your frames. So you want to apply hot glue to the sides of your frame so that they create a box the same way I'm doing now so that it can look like a, a tutorium for your Easter Bunny. So once you have your frames arranged and hot glued into a square shape, you want to take one of those cardboard back pieces that came with your frames 
remember I told you not to throw anything away because you would need it later. And this is what I was talking about. So take one of those um, cardboard pieces that came with your frames and just hot glue it onto the bottom so that everything will stay inside of your titanium of your titanium that it's supposed to stay inside. I'm sorry, I'm so tongue tied today. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Just bear with me. So once you have glued your base down, you want to take a moss sheet. I got mine from the dollar sheet for just a dollar. Now you can glue down your moss sheet if you want, but that's totally up to you. I did not glue mine down because I didn't feel like it was necessary. I also added some floral garden reindeer moss, which is also came from the dollar sheet for just a dollar. I bought this little bunny from Michaels. Um, right now, they have all their spring and Easter decor for 40% off. And I got an email this morning, and it's actually 50% off. So, she is actually cheaper than she was when I bought her. When I bought her, it, um, I just ended up spending $6 because so it was 40% off. And that was a good deal to me. But today, they're having an even better deal. <laughs> but when I saw her, I was just like, she's so cute and adorable. And I just knew I had to have her. She is so cute. And she just goes so well with this project. I love it. Now, even though this is an Easter Bunny Tatarium, I thought I would just, it would just be really cute if I added some nautical rope and sort of incorporated it. Because I bought a lot of um, nautical rope from on a Dollar Tree. And so I was like, let me use some nautical rope. And I just put it on both sides to kind of look like a basket or whatever. So if you didn't want to do the titanium, this could totally be like a cute basket, you know, for you with like the rope. So I just put the rope on both sides. And to make it even cuter, I just added some white flowers that I got from Michaels. And I just added a cute burlap, um, burlap ribbon bow that um i got from the dollar sheet because you know i love bows and i love burlap and i love the burlap ribbon bow it's just so cute whenever i get a chance to use it or find a project that it will look really cute with i just go ahead and use it because i love the burlap lace ribbon it's so pretty to me
It's a sour taste, in it? It's a sour taste To be fooled again, honey To be fooled again Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces Yes, you did No, it's not the way I planned No, it's not the way I wanted No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest so once you have your ribbon and your flowers and your nautical rope hot glue, you're just going to put your bunny back in and you are done. You have this beautiful Easter bunny terrarium that is so great for Easter and spring decor as well. I was so happy with how this project turned out. It's so adorable, so cute. And it looks so great sitting in my house, just like a little Easter Bunny, you know, terrarium. She's just sitting there, just chilling. And she is so cute and so adorable, and I love her. And so did my child. He thought it was like a little toy. I had to tell him, no, that wasn't a toy. <laughs> so I had to move her. But um, she is so cute. And if you do this project, I hope you love it just as much as I did. I was so um, happy with how this project turned out. For my second DIY spring um, project for today, I'll be showing you how I created these cute, adorable mason jar flower arrangements. Now, again, I told you that I used all the paints that came in that, um, that value set that I bought from Michaels. So right here, I'm using the pale blue, the yellow, and the purple, and the pink that I had. These were spring colors to me, so that's why I went ahead and used them. Plus, I had some hydrangeas that I had left over from a previous wreath that I did. And that video is also on my page um, with the with the hydrangeas and the Easter um, eggs that I did wreath. So I had some um, leftover materials from that. So I just put it in my mason jars and it came out beautiful. Now, I don't know why, again, I... Don't know what was going on this day, but I forgot to hit the record button when I put the first layer of paint on my mason jars. So I'm just going to show you how I did it when I um, applied my second coat because I ended up doing um, at least three to four coats on this um, project because I didn't want you to be able to see through the glass because as you can see now, it looks really thin and I didn't want it to look like that. So again, I added about three or four coats of paint. So I'm going to show you how um, I applied my second coat, which is the same way I applied my first coat. So after my mason jars have finished drying, I'm just gonna get some twine that I bought from the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. 
and just wrap it around the top of my mason jars and also I'm just gonna with that same twine I'm just gonna make like a cute little bow to attach to the front of it also just you know just to add a little bit more cuteness to my mason jars So after I have my twine hot glued and secured on my mason jar, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my hydrangeas. Again, I got, um, this is just some leftover floral pieces from a previous project that I have already posted on my page. And these flowers came from the Dollar Tree. Everything that I'm putting in this um, mason jar came from the Dollar Tree. The hydrangeas, the sparkly branches, the Easter eggs, they all came from the Dollar Tree. And I just put them in, and you can arrange them however you like. I just added my hydrangeas, then I added my branches, then I added my eggs. But you can arrange yours however you like. If you don't want to add your eggs, you don't have to. If you don't want to add any branches, you don't have to. This, When you do this project, it's completely how you want to do it to your liking. However you want to do it, it will be beautiful either way. So I just believe that these projects came out so beautiful. I am so happy with them both. You know, again, this is for the Easter and the spring and they go great with either one. I am so happy and so thrilled. They look so beautiful and they were so inexpensive and budget friendly to make. So um, if you see a project that you want to do, don't think, oh, I can't do it because it may be too expensive. No, the Dollar Tree has everything you need for such great prices. Michael has everything you need for such great prices. You know, just look around and see what you can find because you can make great, beautiful pieces on a budget. And again, I just love these pieces so much, how they look in my home. They just bring everything together. They are so pretty. So I hope that when you create them, if you create them, that you love them just as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I am Casey. Go subscribe. Go like this video. Go subscribe to my channel, Create a State of Mind with Casey. And 
you know, just if you like this video, go subscribe to my channel so you can see more content just like this. All right. Go create something beautiful. Bye.